Hello everyone. Upgrading to MicroStrategy is a cumbersome process and that's why we are coming up with this video where we are going to explain how you can upgrade your MicroStrategy version 8, 9 or 10 to the latest version say for example 2021 which is available in MicroStrategy. So first of all it's important to know that which particular versions are directly supported for the upgrade. So as of now, if you want to upgrade to MicroStrategy 2021, the only three versions which directly supports are 10.4, 2019 and 2020. So if your system is having 10.4 or 2019 or 2020 version of MicroStrategy, you can directly upgrade it. But consider you are uh, at 10.2 or 9.0 or MicroStrategy 8. If any versions Accept those 10 uh, list of 10.4 and 2019 and 2020 if you are into those version Then first of all you have to upgrade to either of this version either 10.4 or 2019 or 2020 That means consider you are in micro study 9 I would recommend you to go for the micro study 10.4 and then you have to upgrade to 2021 Hope this point is clear Also, it's uh, very important for you to note that First of all, you should upgrade to the supported version and also do not uninstall the current version of MicroStrategy, please. Okay. So say for example, you are upgrading from 10.4 to 2021. Unless your upgrade is done, everything is fine. It's better to over install than under underinstall. And that's why you have to ensure that your latest version is 100% working, running fine. And then you have to uninstall your previous version. It's good to review your readme for the complete list of documents, products, features, whatever is there in available in MicroStrategy. You can go to MicroStrategy website, you will find this readme documents. Also, you have to follow the upgrade order and recommendations outlined in that particular guide. So, if you have done the upgrade, I'm sure you must know that first of all, we have to always upgrade to the intelligence server before upgrading any client applications. Client applications like MicroStrategy Mobile, Library, Developer, Web, anything. So before upgrading them, you have to ensure that your intelligence server is upgraded first. And when you are creating an upgrade, especially for the production environment, just upgrade the test environment first. And how you get the test environment? You duplicate your production environment, call it as a test environment, upgrade this first, upgrade your uh, metadata and then you upgrade this test environment to validate the upgrade before using your production environment. There are some more best practices like MicroStrategy never recommends you to downgrade your machine from newer environment to or newer version to the older version. So if you have upgraded to 2021. Uh, MicroStrategy do not recommend you to downgrade to again back to 10.2 or 9 or 10.4 or whatever it is. If it has been done accidentally or if there is really some need, business need, then you may have to reach out to MicroStrategy tech support for this. Also, avoid installing MicroStrategy products using virtual sessions onto the host machine like Windows Terminal Services. Instead of that, MicroStrategy always asks you or recommends you to install MicroStrategy directly into your server machine, physical interface. Like you can use a remote desktop connection provided by Microsoft. There the benefit is that you get full control of the server machine's interface and you can also create actual administrator session into this particular machine. So do not go for virtual machine but instead go to the actual server directly also you should when when you are into the clustered environment then you should shut down all the micro shady intelligence server nodes first before upgrading and finally when you are upgrading you have to ensure that all the data types assigned in existing projects are supported into the current micro shady version so consider that your project is containing a column and this particular column 
has some data types which is not supported. Then the data types for those columns are going to be assigned as reserved. And proper data types are not going to be assigned into these temporary tables. This is really going to affect the report execution. So we recommend you to please see the project design guide for entire list of supported data types for each and every single database types and also the additional information about how you can change your supported data types. Hope you find this video useful. If you find it, please do like, share and subscribe. I thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.